Oh, Bethany Crouch joins us live from Riverbank Marina on the Garden Highway with a look. Good morning, Bethany. Good morning, Ken and Marianne, and I have to tell you guys, it is very chilly out here. The wind just picked up again. The rain has started becoming a little bit intermittent at times, not so heavy, but definitely the wind is making it very chilly out here along the Sacramento River. We're at Crawdads on the river, which, by the way, uh, they just reopened from their winter season on Valentine's Day, so just a week ago. And today, typically they would be open at 11 o'clock on Mondays, but today, because of the storm, they are going to be closed. I do want to show you, take a look at this. Um, column, this kind of anchor for the crawdads on the river restaurant, and it gives you good indications of where the Sacramento River has been for as long as they've been marking and monitoring it. So you can see March of 86, that's really when the Sacramento River was the highest, followed by January 1997. And as we pan all the way down, as we uh, you show you that we're just below the January of 96 level. So it gives you kind of a good indication for even as high as the Sacramento River certainly looks and feels right now, it has been higher in the past. Uh, so once again, crowd ads on the river going to be taking a break from serving food today, closed today, but they are reopened for their, uh, <laughs> for the season, even though the weather has been absolutely wild. Now we're going to show you just uh, some of the offices and restaurants along the the side there earlier we were showing you the underground parking lot and it gave you a good indication of um, where where the water level was at because that underground parking lot, that bottom level of the parking lo lot um, if we're able to get you a shot of that it really is just about at flood just about at flood level there you see it starting to creep up in places um, so that's it for us. We're live here along the Sacramento River from Crawdads on the river. Back to you guys. All right. Thank you, Bethany. Just goes to show you how this weather can affect uh, life at every different level.